good morning. Thought I'd use my windshield time here to just leave a little video. Got my eyes on the road, so I don't think this is unsafe. I was going through a devotional with uh, Jordan at uh, church, our church, and uh, about 50 other men. And I'm just haunted by this thought. I shared it with my son Ethan today, and he kind of gave me the same wow nod. So I'd like to leave it with everybody because I think it's super profound, whether you're a man or a woman. I think we all kind of had the same question. Um, the idea that John Eldridge, who's the author of the devotional, um, and, and it was a video devotional as well, he brought up this notion that you find yourself in life sometimes asking God, just provide me what you want me to do, where you want me to go, and I will go do it. I'll go be a good soldier. Tell me what it is, and I'll do that. And uh, we get frustrated because God doesn't provide that. And John said, nobody gets that plan. In fact, I made the observation that neither did Jesus. Towards the end of Matthew, I think it's chapter 24, you see Jesus fielding the questions from the disciples. You know, well, when are you going to return? And Jesus said, I don't know. Only the Father knows. So to think that we could get a better plan, a more complete plan than even Jesus did when he was in human flesh, um, not going to happen. But then John, this is where it got profound for me. Then John said, um, let's suppose in God gave us that plan. He gave us our complete master plan. You know what's wrong with it? We'd go do it. <laughs> we would. And we'd forget about our Heavenly Father. Yeah, we would. We'd go get our marching orders and move on and forget the whole point of this adventure is to have God participate with us in our life. He wants to be involved in every detail. Jesus taught his disciples to pray and it began our Father. That's the whole point. The whole point of all of this is that we get to have a relationship with the creator of the universe. And I suspect John is right that if we were given those orders, we'd just go do them. Think of how many times I sat down with my wonderful devotional plan and went through the routines and neglected the interpersonal and personal uh, involvement by getting, by participating with my Heavenly Father in that devotion and just going through the, the steps, going through the routine. Um, you know, if you examine your life, I think you'll find, perhaps, some of those same experiences where we go through the motions and we forget. It's all about our relationship with our Heavenly Father and our relationship with others. Greatest commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love others as you would yourself. So I thought I'd leave that with you, and uh, John leaves us with this last thought. If this is true, that it's about our fathers, our relationship with him, and not about our sacrifices, and not about our wonderful plan, but it's about getting on that adventure with your heavenly father and participating with him in your life, that's the adventure, then his advice to us is this, go be a son, go be a daughter to your heavenly father. So I wanna leave you with that. Have a great day, everybody.